Well, y'all, Omarion and Mario went head-to-head last night in an epic versus battle. So prior to the two R&B vets hitting the stage, they had Ray J, Bobby V, Pleasure P, and Sammy hit the stage for a pre-show. Now, during the pre-show, all four singers trash-talked and performed their biggest hits, including Ray J's One Wish, Pleasure P's solo hits, and hits with Pretty Ricky, including Hotline and Grind On Me. Uh, Sammy performed I Like and Soldier Boys Kiss Me Through the Phone. Bobby V performed his hits, including Slow Down, Anonymous, Tell me and Lil Wayne's Mrs. Officer. Now, after a long, long delay, Mario and Omarion finally hit the stage, and Omarion performed his hits like Touch, Entourage, Icebox, O, oh, and a few B2K hits and more. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mario performed hits like Just a Friend, Let Me Love You, Music for Love, Crying Out for Me, and more. Uh, during the show, Mario did a lot of trash talking, including bringing out a fake B2K. <laughs> wow. Meanwhile, Omarion brought out guests like Tank and Jeremiah. It was a good battle, but it took forever for them to come on stage. Like they had technical problems? Or? I don't know, but at around 10.30, I turned to it. They still wasn't on stage. Oh. They uh, was hurting? Sammy and, and, and Ray J was going at it because somebody sang One Wish and Ray J came on stage with his child and told them, don't y'all was doing a lot of singing One Wish. And I was like, what, what? is going on? And then Bobby V performed like a whole concert. <laughs> and then and then wait, Pleasure wait, wait, P, wait, wait, I didn't even wait, know who wait, Pleasure wait. P was, so he started I was singing. Say, Pleasure P and Sammy walked in here right now, I wouldn't know who they were. Pleasure P came out and sang all the Pretty Ricky songs. I was like, Where's Omarion and Mario? This was like 10 So basically, it turned into a 90s, a 2000s concert. Yeah, they did like a pre show, but don't it supposed to start at 8? I thought it'd be from like 8 to 10 <clears throat> or 11. Wait if a minute. So they were two time, hours eight. late? They didn't hit the stage. I didn't see Omarion until like 11 o'clock. I swear uh-huh. it was like 10 30, 11 o'clock. No, Around man. midnight, when I woke up from dozing off, they were still performing. Uh-uh. No <laughs> now, you know, Trilla, they will usually turn it off, but I, girl, I was like, what is going on? Ain't nobody under, over 40 seen that. Exactly. Everybody, Everybody was sleeping. Right. I just happened to be scrolling through Instagram and saw the V lit up. So I was like, oh, okay. And they hadn't, it was, I'm telling you, it was like 10 30. They wasn't on stage yet. It was crazy. All uh-huh. right, y'all, moving on. Lil Wayne has been added to perform at the 2022 BET Awards, and the other performers include Lizzo. Lotto, Roddy Rich, uh, Chance the Rapper, and Chloe. Pre show performers include Juvenile, Saucy Santana, and Victoria Monet. Now we got some BET presenters that we will recognize. We got Big Frida, Blue Daniel, uh, Daniel Kaluuya, and our very own Eva Marcio. All right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah. Family gonna be up in there. Idris Elba, Irv Gotti, Janelle Monet, Kiki Palmer, Ray J, and more. The BET Awards take place at the Micro Center, Microsoft Theater in Los Angeles on June 26th at 8 p.m. Um, what y'all think about that? I think that's going to be a good show. Eva, what you going to be weighing, girl? What you going to do? I mm. got a little drip for y'all, but I'm going to say a drip. I am, <laughs> got a little drip for you. know I got to show out a little bit, sis. But I am looking forward to seeing Lizzo. I am Me like too. Lizzo's biggest fan, and Me I cannot too. wait to see her on Culture's Biggest Night. You know she's going to show up and show you know, out. All you know peace. she is. And I can't yes. wait to see Chance the Rapper, too, because we ain't seen him in a minute. So this yes. is going to be a good show hosted by Taraji P. Henson. She's going to kill it. I can't wait. I'm excited about this one. That's, that's yeah, what's BT up. BT always put on a good show, though. Yeah. Yes, sometimes it'd be a lot of people I don't know sometimes. Yeah. yeah. I, I but, guess because I'm kind of out of the loop, like, because there's so many different right. people. But this is going to be a really, really good one. I can't wait to see it. 